Welcome to Tutorial Palace Civil Engineering. In previous video, we calculate the long mass uh, seismic weight of the building and storage shear forces. Today, I am going to model this in ETAPS. But I want to explain one thing uh, that is the value of SA by Z equal to 2.5. I forgot to explain this in my previous video. So, here we have to look two things that is, we have to look uh, type of soil. Here, uh, according to our question, we have medium soil. We have medium soil and time period is 0 0.2277. So for 0 0.2277 and for medium soil, we get this value 2.5. And this is how we get the values of SA by Z. I will also explain other terms again while modeling this in ETAPS. Let's start. Okay, let's explain something uh, while ETAPS is opening. Here, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 grid in y axis and 1, 2, 3, 4 grid in x axis with the spacing of 7.5 meter. And here uh, the elevation of building height is 3 meter and number of stories 1, 2, 3, 4, and here is fixed support. Okay. Click on new model. And here we have to set our units metric SI and we use we are using Indian code just press I then you will see where it is IS 456 is 2000 okay number of grid 44 and it's switching is 7.5 7.5 number of history scores with a typical history height 3 and bottom history height is also 3 click on OK Let's also see uh, our size of the column is 450 times 450, beam 250 times 400 mm, and thickness of slab is 150, and thickness of wall is 120 mm. Okay, now we have to define material first, a new material, and Indian concrete M20, let's say, uh, and we have to make it 25 kN per meter cube because this is our unit weight of concrete plus we have to add new material that is masonry and let's see masonry unit weight is unit of masonry is 20 so here 20 kN per meter cube Click on OK and we just need these two things. Click on OK and we need section, frame section, add new properties, concrete rectangular, concrete. Okay, our uh, let's make beam. Our size of beam is 250 times 400. And here you have to select M20 and here depth is 400 and width is 250 and click here and select beam click ok now this is beam now again add new properties concrete and our column is 450 times 450 oh, oh. 450 times 450 and our material is M20 depth is 450 and again width is 450 and let's see here uh, this is column ok then click ok we get beam and column now we have to make slab section properties slab section ok add new properties here we make slab our thickness of slab is 150 material is M20 and slab thickness is 150 click on OK click OK now again we have to define our wall section add new properties our wall is 120 Material is masonry, thickness of wall is 120, click on OK, click 
Click on OK. Let's again check this. Thickness of wall is 120, slab 150, beam 250 times 400, column 450 times 450. OK. I want to make history 3 as a master history. So I right click, then go to add slash modify grid, then your modify slash show history data, and I want to make this master history and master okay, history 2 is similar to history 3 history 1 is similar to history 3 okay okay now i will select your similar story here now i have to draw beam and this is our fourth floor here we have to select beam to 50 times 400 then just drag it you see beam is created now go to story thought then again drag it then you will see here now I want to make this lab just uh, click here quick draw floor slash wall then select slab 150 then just drag it here you see slab then go to history 4 then just drag it and you see this lab at history 4 now I have to make column so I select your all history then and also here I have to select column 450 times 450 then just drag it now I go to history 1 then I go to base then I again select I again select all the joint then I go to assign joint restraint then your fix support apply okay now I have to make the walls so I go to elevation click apply then okay here, just click quick draw floor slash wall, then select wall 120, then just drag it. Okay, let's and let's drag it full. Then, uh, this is a grid, B, C grid, and D grid. Here, also drag it then our grid one drag it and similarly at grid four we make the walls so you see we make the walls at the outer grid guys i don't know how it helps will give me answer but according to our question as we know this much of mass will get lumped here and this much of mass should be lumped here and this mass should be lumped at this story too and finally we have to lump this much of mass here and i think it has will do it automatically according to our guess but I don't know what will be the result okay we have assigned beam column slab and wall then let's go to load pattern then all the load of beam column slab and wall is dead load we will going to assign our live load and first I want to assign live load then I will go to the seismic load here so uh, let assign the here uh, you have to make similar stories then click all this lab and here we will assign live load 3 kN assign cell load uniform live load 3 kN per meter square 
Now we are interested in seismic load. So let's define seismic load. Uh, we will say this is EQX. We will take this along X direction. And here we have to select seismic and auto lateral load. IS 1893 to 2002. Okay. Add new load. Then we have to modify this according to our question. We will check along x direction only. Our structure lies in seismic zone third. So let's see. I think our uh, structure lies in seismic zone third. So our z value equal to 0 0.16. If you see here, here you have z value according to our seismic zone and our structure lies in seismic zone third so our z value will be 0 0.16 0 0.16 our soil type is medium soil and medium soil is type second importance factor is one importance factor for our building is one year or you can see importance factor is one and our response reduction factor is three for omrf building and here you can see for omrf building response reduction factor is 3 but SMRF building it is 5 here we have 3 so here is 3 then we have calculated our time period and our time period is and this is our time period I copy this and I paste it here then I click OK now we define the seismic load now we have to define the mass source and here modify mass source and here click specify load pattern here element self mass will be automatically taken so I just say live load should be just 0.25% because we know live load equal to 3 we have to multiply it by 0.25 we have to take 25% and for live load greater than 3 we have to take 50% of it and I click OK then OK and let's see this in elevation view click OK now I run the analysis and I save this as slum mass check set And analysis is being running Okay, now done. Go to display, study response plot, and here we see auto lateral load to stories. Then let's see the result. Here you can see in graph it is around 400 to 450, and our result is around 410. Oh no, no, no. Our result is around 426. Let's see the result. 27 and let's compare this result 426 uh, 310 138 34 okay guys I think I get result also let's see seismic weight how much seismic weight did it take okay let's go to uh, let's go to display show table and load pattern definition load pattern your load pattern definition auto seismic click on ok and here you can see the total weight is total weight seismic weight use is 13543 and let's see how much we get 13651 okay and VB will be 902.88 
and here we get bb equal to 908 not 19.07 uh, minor difference is there thank you